Our TV celebrates black history today, this month, and every day. A Hoosier historian has only been on the job for about a year, but when her vision comes to light, she'll be able to take people through hundreds of years. She's using logs and dirt and seeds and projectors and the truth to create a time machine. And she's highlighting Hoosiers in history who challenged laws and changed lives. Black history is also American history. Uh, we cannot erase history or ignore history uh, and expect to move forward. Dr. Charlene Fletcher is taking charge of an effort to bring the rich stories and experiences in black history to anyone who roams the grounds of Connor Prairie and Fishers. So the exhibit is called Promised Land is Proving Ground. Starting here in Origin Cabin, taking visitors from pre-colonial Africa to Indiana in the 21st century. We have an issue when we teach African-American history, we typically begin with slavery. Black history did not begin with enslavement, nor did it end with the Civil War. The exhibit will also feature the story of John Freeman, a painter and Georgia native who came to Indiana around 1844 and found success running a restaurant in what is now downtown Indianapolis. He was arrested by U.S. Marshals in 1853 uh, because a uh, Methodist minister in Missouri um, by the name, uh, last name of Ellington had claimed that uh, John Freeman was a runaway enslaved man whom he owned. Freeman spent nine weeks in jail and with the help of three attorneys fought in the courts against the Fugitive Slave Act to prove that he was indeed a free man. John Freeman was not the person that Ellington owned. The gentleman who was in fact Sam uh, had already escaped to Canada. Freeman not only won his case, but he also sued the preacher who questioned his freedom and the Marion County Circuit Court. Despite the legal victories, Freeman was forced to sell property to pay off debt incurred during this case. He came here, um, he had a very profitable business. Um, people knew who he was but he still was not uh, safe in this space that we call Indiana. The fact that he um, continued pushing forward despite uh, nine weeks in jail, despite losing what he had and, and still moving forward um, to freedom and to retain his freedom is why his story is important. Freeman may have already been a free man, but many slaves who escaped from the South landed in Indiana or passed through our state on the Underground Railroad in their quest for freedom. And according to state history records, this case had such an impact, many free African Americans living in Indiana fled to Canada fearing similar accusations. It's not about guilt on anyone's part, but it's honestly about being able to move forward. Dr. Fletcher wants people to know. Well, here it is 2022. We're still having the same conversations and we're having the same conversations because we're not being honest and deliberate about engaging the history and reconciling and healing from that history. Of course, John Freeman's story is just one of many you'll be able to learn about at the new exhibit there. Promised Land as Proving Ground will open to the public later this summer at Connor Prairie. This may be the last day of Black History Month, but we have so much for you to see and read on our website, including a story about the significant role the Hamilton County town of Westfield played in the Underground Railroad. See all of our Black History Month coverage at wrtv.com slash blackhistorymonth.